I'm currently in Vladivostok. It's such a cool place. Imagine living in a city where you have to spend at least nine hours on a domestic flight to get to your capital of Moscow. It's so insane. It's pretty much the longest domestic flight I, uh, in the world, I guess, or one of the longest. And you have to spend, uh, if you want to get here by train, you have to spend six and a half days on the famous Trans-Siberian Railroad. It's so cool. The best way to explore a new city is a walking tour. I walked from the Admirala Fokina street along the Jubilene beach, which recently faced some huge reconstructions, to the Svitlanska street. This street is the main artery of the city and houses some of the main sites, like the central square, the old Gum building and the Karabelnaya embankment, where I arrived right in time to guess at the firing of the cannon. This tradition was introduced to Vladivostok in the 19th century and originated in St. Petersburg, the former capital of the Russian Empire. Since then, there would be a firing of the cannon every day at 12 p.m. After the firing, the Russian anthem was played to conclude the daily ritual. Just a 15 minute walk away is the lower terminus of the Vladivostok cable car. After the visit of the former USSR leader Nikita Khrushchev to the USA in 1959, he wanted to establish a Soviet San Francisco in Vladivostok. The geography of both cities is very similar, that's why the cable car was built in first place. The length is just 183 meters and a ride takes just 90 seconds. Today it's a famous tourist attraction which connects the embankments to the Eagle's Nest viewing platform. right now at a very nice viewing point where you can see the entire city of Vladivostok which is often referred to as the San Francisco of Russia I mean it's pretty obvious you have those bridges this is the Golden Bridge and there behind is the Ruski Bridge which is the biggest uh, cable state bridge in the world you have the um, Zalatoy Rog Bay then you have mountains a cable car yeah it's pretty much the same like san francisco only in russia From the viewing platform I went back to the city center. I used the time to explore the area around the Vladivostok train station and the passenger terminal of the port. So I'm right now in front of the Vladivostok railway station and it's the terminal stop of the Trans-Siberian Railroad. The longest rail in the world. It's pretty impressive to be here. And it's also a very decent viewing point. With the bridge in the background. Just to refer back to the train station, there is a famous Vladivostok joke for how similar many train stations all over Russia look. A Moscovite enters the train at the Moscow Yaroslavsky train station and after six days arrives at the Vladivostok Yaroslavsky train station. The rest of the golden hour I spent at the passenger terminal of the Vladivostok port. The view was so beautiful that I almost forgot to walk back to the eagle's nest, where I probably encountered one of the most beautiful sunsets in my life.
I really enjoyed my two-day stay in the city of Vladivostok. It's like I always say, one or two days are not enough to explore a new place. There's so much more to see in the city and the surroundings, like the Ruski Island or the endless beaches of the Primorsky Krai. See you in the final country of the Asia series.